Today, I'm going to introduce the trainer function of T12D and T16D. And there are two methods to use the trainer function. One is to connect via trainer cable, and the other one is to connect radio link wireless trainer cable. In this tutorial, I'm going to show the trainer function with wireless trainer cable. And here is radio link type C wireless trainer cable. You can buy it on radio link official website. And we also need a T16D, which works at a coach transmitter, a T12D, which works at a student transmitter, and a R16F receiver, which is bound to T16D successfully. And I connect a server to channel 1 of the receiver to show the trainer function. And we also need a receiver which supports PPM signal, because the wireless trainer cable supports PPM signal. So I use R8FM because it supports PVM signal. Uh, it has already bound to T12D transmitter. By the way, if you want to use T16D or T12D and a coach transmitter and you want to use a wireless trainer cable, please check the hardware version of your transmitter. And T16D is a coach transmitter, so I need to check its hardware version. Enter my menu. Transmitter settings. About. The hardware version is version 1.0.2. T16D coach transmitter with hardware version of version 1.0.2 or above supports wireless trainer cable. So this T16D can work at a coach transmitter and use a wireless trainer cable. And if the hardware version of your coach transmitter is below version 1.0.1, .1, please use the trainer cable. And how to use the trainer function? First, connect the wireless trainer cable and I connect R8FM to one side of the wireless trainer cable and make sure the polarity is not reversed. And connect the other end of the wireless trainer cable to the type support of T16D. Here it is. The collection is done. Then set the trainer function on the two transmitters and set the coach transmitter T16D. Transmitter settings, trainer. A switch means you can assign switch to control the trainer function. And I assign switch A and set the state to on. So that means when I push switch A up, the trainer function is turned on. When I push switch A down, the trainer function is turned off. And T16D works at the coach transmitter. So I need to set the coach mode. And also I need to set the PWR from off to on which means the Type-C port of P16D can supply power to the PPM receiver. And we can see the LED is powered on. And the LED is red because it is in PPM working mode. So here are the settings of T16D transmitter. And then set a student transmitter T12D. Enter my menu, transmitter settings, trainer. You can also assign a switch to control the trainer function. Since I don't need a switch, so I set it now. And set a state to on. And T12D works at a student transmitter, so I need to set a student mode. So here are all the settings of T12D. And by the way, to make the trainer function work well, please make sure all the settings of the coach transmitter is the same with the settings of the student transmitter. And the settings are done, so return to server display. Power on R16F. Push switch A down. The trainer function is turned off. And we can say the servo is controlled by T16D. And push switch A up. The trainer function is turned on. Push the joystick up T16D. There is no response but push the joystick up to 12D. We can say the server works well, which means the receiver is controlled by the student transmitter to 12D. And you can push switch A up and down to turn on or turn off the trainer function. But here is one problem when I push the channel one joystick of the student transmitter. We can say the server value on the student transmitter is different from the server value on the coach transmitter. That is to say we need to adjust the PPM value on T16D to make the student transmitter totally match the coach transmitter 
and how to adjust the PBM value. Please follow the below steps. 1. Make sure the joysticks of the trainer transmitter and the student transmitter have been calibrated and both of them have been calibrated before. And 2. Adjust the maximum absolute value of channel 1 of the student transmitter. So I need to enter Enter my menu, general settings, endpoints. Endpoints of channel 1 defaults to 100, and I need to set it to the maximum 120. 3. The trainer function is turned on. Return to the trainer function. I need to push the channel 1 joystick of the student transmitter to the left and the right sides so we can view the PPM value on channel 1 in here. We can see the PPM maximum is 1625 and the PPM minimum is 375 and the PPM middle is 1000. So I need to adjust the PPM value here. Set the PPM minimum to 375. and set the PPM maximum to 1625. Four, after the setting, I need to set the EPA, the channel one of the student transmitter back to the original value, which is 100. Adjustment is done and return to server display. Push switch A down. The trainer function is turned off and T16D control the server. And push switch A up. The trainer function is turned on. T12D control the server. We can see the server value is the same for both student transmitter and the coach transmitter which means the student transmitter match the coach transmitter. And if you are using transmitters from other brands, you can also refer to the steps to adjust the PBM value. So that is the trainer function of T16D and T12D with wireless trainer cable.